Hi there, I'm going to teach you how you can watch a foreign film which doesn't have subtitles with subtitles in your media player. So let's start. Uh, here's my film right here on my desktop. It's called Trop Belle Portois. It's in French. It has uh, no subtitles. What we're going to do is we're going to locate the subtitles and download them. So what you do, go to Google, put in the words subtitles, and then the name of the film, in this case Trop Belle Portois. 1989 sometimes helps to add the year. And we've got lots of choices here. Some of these will be dead ends and some of them will have subtitles. Uh, here's one I checked out earlier. It's called All Subs, a very popular site. What you tend to find is that with subtitles, either they exist, in which case they're out there and they're everywhere, or they don't. So generally, if, if you can't locate the subtitles for something within 10 or 15 minutes, the chances are it doesn't exist. OK, have a look at the choices here. Uh, check your choices in English. Uh, many of these are. Check it's in one piece. Sometimes people cut the film into two pieces. Then probably a, s a set of subtitles will exist in two parts as well. Uh, most of the time it's simple. We've got film in one part, and I imagine all of these will be pretty much the same, all the same. OK, click on Download. OK, you can just check you got it right here. This site uh, wants me to prove I'm not a robot. So I'll put two, four, three in. Uh, I did this just a minute ago. If I click download, it downloads. It takes about 30 seconds. Uh, but I'm not going to do it because it'll make my computer crash. Uh, OK. At the bottom, it's down here in the bottom left hand corner. It's a zip file. They all are. So I'm going to open it up. OK. Uh, I'm going to open this in 7-zip, but you might have WinZip or WinRAR or any of those. OK. It's clear. Uh, we've got the film here. It's an SRT file. They all are, should be. If you ever want to edit them, you can edit them in Notebook. But generally, don't do that unless you've got a particular reason and you know what you're doing. OK. I'm going to copy this to my desktop because that's where the film is. And that, that way you can see what I'm doing. OK. OK, now let's go to my desktop. We've got the film over here. And yes, we've got the subtitle film over here. Brilliant. OK, easy peasy. Uh, take the film. I'm going to open it using my uh, media player. I'm going to open with VLC media player. That's the best and the most versatile one. Uh, for watching these films. OK, what you'll find is uh, the subtitles are not there yet, so go to Video, Subtitle Track, Open File, uh -huh. Desktop, which is where I've put it. There it is. Look, there's the file. Open it, and it should immediately enter. Nobody's speaking, so you can't see yet. There we go. You can see the subtitles. At this stage, I normally like to check, just go through to the end. Just to check the subtitles are there at the end as well. Yeah, they are. They are. So, so let's stop that. Um, if there's some kind of fault, uh, it very rarely happens. And that's it, actually. Um, as I say, I recommend VLC. If you do want to open your file with Windows Media Player, you can do. Um, but, first of all, you will need to download and install Direct VOB Sub um, in order for your Windows Media Player to read the subtitles. And secondly, you will have to have the film and the subtitle file in the same folder, which I have here. And you will also have to copy. You'll have to change the names of the file so that they're identical. So what I'm going to do is a paste. What I've done is I've just changed those names so that they're now identical, apart from the a suffix SRT and uh, that's this is an AVI film I think. Okay.